if I could tell my younger self something, I have many things I want to tell my younger self, but I would say, don't try to make people like you. Get people to respect you and respect yourself. I was so into like pleasing others and saying, if they like me, I'm going to get ahead. If they like me, I'm I'm going to be good and I'm going to be validated, but that is so false. They will kick you aside in the end. It's a hard thing for women, especially to realize that you have to just kick the door open. I don't care. You have to kick the exit door open. You have to get crawl in through the chimney. You have to, you have to get in through the basement. I don't care how you get in, do it your own way because the path, like the straight path is not a path that's going to that's not, that's not a path that's, that's designed for your success. That's a path laid out for by generations that weren't interested in you being successful. So I think we're finally reaching a place in society or starting to, and I hope with this book and with other books and, and television and, and, and conversations that are happening, we're, hap we're reaching a place of where women can be empowered to be who they want to be and not be set into this box. Because when I was back in very young, working i mean we were just so scrutinized for our bodies for who we are for our sexuality and now i really hope there's a a place of freedom for that i mean listen i listen if i would have told you after being a sitcom young person <laughs> on tgif that i would be one of the biggest porn stars in the world after 40 that would be a hard thing to believe, but you, you can believe it because it's the truth in this book. And that's why you have to buy it and listen to it. <laughs> <laughs>